was your household like? It sucked. Was it? My father left when I was in the fifth grade, you know. But what it did was, uh, my grandmother's brother wrote Jackie Gleason show. He had a show called American Sea Magazine where he did the whole, the honeymoon is Reginald Van Gleason the third, uh, Joe the bartender, and he was one of the writers. So I wanted to see Jackie Gleason when I, I don't know, nine, ten. So she took me to uh, the theater in New York to see Jackie Gleason. This guy comes on and makes an announcement. Due to the summer, Jackie Gleason will be replaced by Tommy and Jimmy Dorsey's stage show with their orchestra. I started crying. I want to see Jackie Gleason. And then the announcer says, and tonight's guest, Elvis Presley. So I got to see Elvis. And when I saw him, I was like, like everybody else, but I was right there. And that's what made me want to play the guitar. I knew Green Sleeves, I knew uh, Molly Malone, these stupid songs, you know, but right. got me playing. Right. So then when did the blues come into all this? Uh, I have no idea. You know what happened is uh, I started playing, I guess, trying to copy the stone, you know, in my first group, the Vagrants, I was, we were Stones, Beatles, you know, I didn't have any roots in the Mississippi Delta or any of that stuff. I had roots in Forest Hills, Queens. So when Felix produced The Vagrants, uh, a couple of years later, my brother says, you know, this group Cream, you gotta hear this group Cream. He says, you know, the guy that produced us, Felix Pavillari, he's producing the Israeli years. I said, the same guy? He says, yeah. I said, well, why don't we sound like Cream? He says, we suck, you didn't practice. <laughs> so we went to the, it was the Village Theater before it was the Fillmore East. See Cream. My brother says, before we go, let's take some LSD. <laughs> Took some LSD and the curtain opened up and I heard Cream. I said, Larry, we really do suck. And then I started practicing. That's what got me to play like this. Wow. 